podcast. My name is Joel Mukanya. I'm a CEO and founder at JTDEX. For today's video, we're going to cover some examples on JSON and local storage in 2022 using JavaScript. So what does JSON stand for? JavaScript Object Notation. And then if we can define it, we can say that it's a light way to format uh, for storing and sharing data. Most of the time, we use it when we want to send data to the server. And then most of the time, you'll see that when you're returning data from the server, it's going to be uh, JSON. So let's talk about some rules about when we're creating a JSON. First of all, we need to know that it's based on the key value pair and each item are separated by a comma. We're going to make use of a curly bracket. So what is a local storage? A local storage allows us to store and retrieve data. Uh, example one on JSON would be uh, this one that I have in mind. I uh, would say let people a cost here. We need to make use of a KD bucket. Then we give our array a title of employees. And then it must to use a key as a string when creating a JSON. So in objects, in JavaScript, it's not a must, but in JSON, you need to you need to remember this. It's very important for you to uh, make sure that the key is a string value. Okay. Good. So let's paint out what we have. Uh, I'm showing you different ways of uh, displaying the values or the data. Right. So when we're using uh, a for loop, uh, you can see there's also another one that you can use in. Uh, you need to avoid the one for in 
uh, in it's going to produce a counter so this variable if I use in in yarn then it will be it, it will become a counter there uh, what uh, because the reason why I use off because I want it to this uh, to uh, this variable to access uh, the the element or the item like the objects yeah correct the objects inside of the array not the counter all right the only thing to do is to say console.log then we we'll say we have a apply then we just have to go to our browser to have a look let's refresh it and here we go So let's see how we can convert. I have that example already. Uh, so converter just and test it to JavaScript object. Let's go into copy it. Copy it and press it here, right here. So we have a string or a test of JSON, then we want to convert it to a JavaScript object. So to do that, we just have to say local uh, uh, console, sorry, console.log, then we need to specify JSON.parse, and then we, we need to pass the str data to convert it to JavaScript object. All right. Then I just copy it and here we go. Then we we'll see what next. Uh, so those ones will allow also to convert a a JavaScript object to JSON string. Alright, so let me just make a copy of uh, okay, I don't have okay. so this. let's create a, a JavaScript object. And you can say on values. Okay. Then colon and then Right, so let's convert it to to JSON. Then we say JSON. Uh, this time it should be uh, string five. Okay, so string string five. So string five will allow us to convert a JavaScript a JavaScript object to JSON. Then we just have to specify on this. Then we can see the difference. The eyes look like uh, the, the, the difference. Uh, one will be the result of uh, a JavaScript object, and then the other one will be the result of uh, JSON. Right, here we go. 
So this is going to be our JSON format. And then uh, this is going to be the result of our JavaScript object. All right. And then let's see what next. Uh, so this time we're going to make use of uh, local storage. Let's allow the user to fetch the value or to enter a value. So we say full name. The user is going to enter the full name. And then we're going to store it inside of a variable called uh, full name temporary. Then we save it on the local store. And now we say enter, enter your name. Let's say enter your full name. Then later on we say local storage dot set. Item. Then the first argument would be the key. Then we just specify full name. And the second argument would be the value. Then we pass the variable name. Then we need to display it on using the document. This time document dot write. We will say local storage dot get item. The item that we want to retrieve is from the key for now. Right, the best. So let's refresh it. Mm, yeah right. Let me just use a picture. Uh, picture gems. That was okay. And then display picture gems on our data. So first, so it's we save it on our local storage. Then later on, we we'll retrieve it using local storage dot get item then if it's the, or you want to set the value you must remember to use the set item property and then you pass the item the the key and then the second argument is the value that you want to set to then if you want to retrieve then you make you make use of get item as well one is set to set the value get item is to retrieve the value using the same key that you specify and thank you guys please subscribe share and like the video